G'day, Glenn Morris here from the Smart Energy Lab, and I'm here today at All Energy with Peter Zhu from SIG Energy. Good to see you, Peter. Good to see you, Glenn. <laughs> so, Peter, what are you standing next to? So, this is our flagship five-in-one residential energy storage system. What is the storage capacity of this unit? So the storage capacity varies. So we have five kilowatt hours module and eight kilowatt hours module, and it can be stacked and mixed together. So each of those units at the bottom there can be five or eight kilowatt hours. Yes, absolutely. And you can stack up to six modules together to achieve a maximum 48 kilowatt hours of storage capacity. Can you combine the, the eight and the five in the same stack? Yes, yes, you can combine however you like it to meet your exact capacity needs. Now you mentioned at the beginning, the five and one, what, what's that about? So five in one, our system integrate inverter, battery PCS, battery pack, EMS, as well as DC EV charging module as well. What? DC EV charging? Yes, yes, absolutely. So it's, um, it's an optional module for the end user and it's bi-directional as well. Bi-directional? Yes. So eventually people can use their car as an another battery. Yes, yes, absolutely. So people can use the battery, use their EV battery as a backup power for their house and as well as for electricity trading as well. Wow, I hadn't thought about that one. So these battery modules are stackable in five or eight kilowatt hour units up to 48 kilowatt hours. Yes, yes, yes. That's the maximum capacity you can have. Yes, yes, can per you, stack. But per you, stack? Yes, yes. You mean you can have so, more than one stack? Yes, so for small commercial applications, you can have stack connected parallel, in parallel to achieve a maximum 480 kilo hours of capacity. So the display is uh, very attractive. What's it telling us? So there are five indicators. The top one is for the internet. This one is DC, this one's East AC, and this one is indicating the battery is charging. And this is for the um, EV module. So Peter, this is a six kilowatt inverter. How can it charge a 25 kilowatt DC output? Yeah, great question, uh, Glenn. So basically you're getting 12 kilowatt from solar, six kilowatt from the grid, and then eight kilowatts from the battery. So that's 26 kilowatt in total, more than enough to support a 25 kilowatt DC charging. That sounds like cheating to me. <laughs> You're summing them all together. So solar plus battery plus grid, all in the one unit. Yes, all in one. Wow. So I think what this can allow is people who don't have enough capacity at home to charge at 25 kilowatts now can. Yes, absolutely. You're right, Ben. That's excellent. I, I think you're going to find a lot of happy single phase customers who want to be able to charge their car fast. Yes. <laughs> so Peter, what's this box on the wall? It looks like another inverter. Ah, good question, Glenn. This is actually our um, gateway box. Wow, it's got a lot of switches in there. Um, I'm familiar with the one that says grid and the one that says backup, but what's a smart port? So the smart port is used for uh, controllable loads, such as diesel generator or a hot water tank. Oh, so you have another input like a diesel generator. Yes, yes, yes. That gives you ultimate backup. So grid first, solar second, battery, and then even diesel generator. Yes. Wow. And in terms of um, loads, being able to dump power into a hot water service. Yes. I like it. I like it. And it's all pre-wired. So basically, you put it on the wall and run your cables. That's great. It's going to be a big time saver. Okay. Well, let's look at some of the other units you've got over here. So Peter, I see that you've got a stackable battery system. How does your stackable battery work? So basically, it's just stack and play. It's a two-man job. Okay, show us. So Peter, um, tell me about the connections on the side of your hybrid inverter. So yeah, we have two MPPTs and communications via Wi-Fi, fast ethernet, as well as 4G and RS45 as well. That's for the meter, I presume. Yes, you're and right. I see you've got a built-in DC isolator. That's pretty cool. So the DC isolator for the PV is on the side of the unit. Yes. But the thing that's got me confused is uh, this has a backup function, but there is only one AC port. Yes, that's where our gateway box comes in. Oh, so the gateway provides the backup functionality. Yes, yes. And the switching time is only zero milliseconds. 
my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> so even your computer won't turn off. Yes, That's no, good. you won't fail the thing. Peter, this is a big unit. Tell me about it. Yeah, so this is our business energy solution. It has 25 kilowatt three phase inverter combined with six battery modules stacked together to achieve a maximum 48 kilowatt hours of storage capacity. Wow. So 48 kilowatt hours of storage in one stack, only slightly taller than you. Yes, yes. <laughs> <laughs> now, it's a 25 kilowatt three phase inverter. How much will can it do unbalanced load support? Yeah, it will support up to 120%. Wow, that's excellent. And it's got the same awesome display that we saw on the, uh, the single phase unit. Really easy to understand. Yes. Now I yeah. noticed you've got a gateway next to this as well. Yeah, so basically it's the same gateway we saw before, but for three phase. Right, so the same functionality as the single phase gateway, but with three phase circuitry. Yes, you're right, Glenn. Great. Well. Thanks very much, Peter, for showing me some of the amazing things that SIG Energy are doing. Thanks, Glenn.